guys, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. Now, thank y'all so much for dropping in. I don't do haul videos a lot, and and I think I did one maybe a couple weeks back. But anyway, I just wanted to. I wanted to let y'all know, I still go into the thrift store. I think I said that in my last video. I do. I go in and I'll pick up some items here and there, but I'm really try to be very particular about what I get now. I guess I'm more, um, now I'm over a year into this, so I'm a little more discerning about what I'm looking for. Like that first several months, y'all, I picked up everything. <laughs> And man, I don't have the I don't have the room for everything, and I realized that that was wasteful. It really kind of is. So, my advice to new junk journalers is what other people have said to me in their videos, like the seasoned junk journalers. I would hear them say it. Now, did I listen? I did not. I did not. So you don't have to listen to me. This is just unwarranted advice, but shop your stash and um, and be particular about what you pick up because if you see it, more than likely you're going to see it again. Yeah, more than likely. Now, there are some items where that's, you know, that's not going to be the case, but don't feel like you've got to just buy, 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 buy. But man, isn't that, isn't that like three quarters of the fun? <laughs> I know, but I, you know, I, everybody's different. Uh, if that's what you enjoy to do, if that's what you enjoy doing and that makes you happy, go for it. I'm just telling you, my experience was I love doing it. It made me happy and I bought all kinds of stuff that I didn't need. And when we we did a remodel on my shed, and when I say we, I mean my honey actually expanded my shed for me and thank goodness for my honey. Uh shout out to him. But it I just realized when I had to start moving stuff out for him to get to what he needed to do, I I didn't I didn't need a lot of this stuff and I had not and I'd forgotten about it. I had so much stuff at that point. It was just yeah. So anyway, off my soapbox. Let's get on to the haul. Y'all are like like girl, okay, let's get on to it. So this was in uh my my one of my little local thrift stores. It was, it's not a Goodwill. It's a local thrift. And, um, I saw it sitting there and it said postcards. And I said, well, let me just look at these postcards and they're Ireland specific, but they're real. The scenes are lovely. They are really lovely. I didn't even count how many, but I just love the colors, and now they're not a matte finish, which is, I mean, that's okay. The back is matte. You can write on the back, but the it's just beautiful. I just thought they were beautiful, and look how I would love to live on this property. I would love to live in this castle, <laughs> but I have been blessed, and I live where I'm supposed to live. <laughs> Now, I have already started cutting out this book, but I just wanted to show you this. I thought it was so interesting because I've recently watched um, Diane Hubert at Pretty Pink Cottage, and I try to remember to link these channels as I mention them. I really do try to remember to link their channels. Um, I've watched her make some ephem ephemera recently out of books kind of similar to this. And one thing that I'm still like, trying to train my eye. I know, and I know that sounds weird to junk journalers because you're like, you didn't know this. I do know it, but it just, it's, as I'm harvesting from books, I'm beginning to see visuals in a different way. This is a perfect example. This number four, this little dollar bill, right? I, would sometimes I would just skip by those things and look for the person. Like I would look for something like this. 
I know, I know. I, I I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm saying, guys. I just was not familiar with crafting at all. So so focal points and things like that, I'm really still learning that. Even after more than a year of doing this. This is precious right here. I think this is precious. This is so there's a, this book in and of itself was just full of those. And like I said, the reason I picked it up was I recently saw, look, that's a 1961 copyright. I recently saw Diane do a lot of fabulous things, make some beautiful, wonderful, mass making some tags. Um, and I thought, oh, I, I, mm -mm, I need to pick this one up. I mean, look at those, how cute. And even, you know, she used these as the background on a tag, and then she would use this as the focal point. I just loved it. I thought, oh, look, I got a little, um, a little piece of ephemera there. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. So, anywho, so that is that. I can harvest from that for sure. Now, I'm going to bring these over here. This is a tell a story. I am not familiar with tell a story. Okay. Uh, Chatworth, California. It looks like classic fairy tales, six Bible, six Alice in Wonderland, maybe. A full cast of exciting characters, easy to read. Anywho, I said, well, let me pick it up. It looked like a tell-a-tale book, of course. And I said, let me look at it. So this is from 1973. And it, it, the illustrations are a little different, right? They're not, um, I mean, of course, they're from the 70s. So, of course, they're going to be different. But... I thought, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this one up. Rumple stilt skin. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I do not believe I have a rumple stilt skin at all. I do not. Mm -mm. I'm I'm almost positive I do not have a rumple stilt skin. So I thought I like the cover, the coloring of the cover. I don't know, to be honest with you, that I am crazy about these kind of illustrations. They're okay, but I still prefer the more vintage looks. Yeah. This one I picked up, and I meant to grab something so I could show you what I'm doing okay. with these. I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing with these books. I see them quite often, actually, to be honest with you. A little beat up because, of course, these are like from the 60s, I want to say, most of the time. Uh, no, 74. This one's from 74. This is what I've been doing with them. I have been making little notebooks, and I just put regular notebook paper, graft paper. I put, sometimes I have colored paper, colored notebook paper, and I separate them. I'll separate them with different, like this is a large pocket, or and I'm using like this divider, and I should probably put some whale's tails so that people know this is a divider. That would be a good idea, huh? Little pockets here, but I'm using my scrap paper too. It helps me to use my scrap paper, and my I'm loving my cinch machine, y'all. Uh, if you have one out there and you have been intimidated by it, pull it out. I cannot, I, listen, I'm telling y'all, if I can do it, anybody can do it, really and truly. So I just think these are a lovely way to do something fun and creative, and I am making them. I've sent a couple in Happy Mail already, but I'm making a little stash for Christmas presents. And, of course, you know Leslie. If you don't know, Leslie's my daughter. She already got one. She wanted to take the whole stack. I didn't tell her no. She she changed her mind. She was like, okay, I'm just going to... I can't remember which one she took. Leslie, if you watch this, tell us, remind me which one you took. I like this cover better than this cover. This is a newer version, of course, but I do like this one. And I'll tell you what I've done. I did, in these, I did not leave the story at all. Okay? I pulled the story out, pulled all the book pages out, and I'm cutting, I, I've already done it, I've already cut up these as ephemera, yeah, not ephemera, as, um, I just cut all the images out so I could use them in ephemera. 
Yes, I did. Isn't that the classic one? I just love this. Anyway, so that's that. Got that. Got those two books. Now I'm going to show you. Let me show you the what I think is a fabulous, fabulous haul. Check this out, guys. I'm zoom you out a little bit because these are big. Listen, <laughs> this is how little I knew about crafting. I was watching Nancy with Wishes and Weeds. And she pulled out a Somerset studio. That was the first time I'd ever seen this magazine. I, I know, it's just, I just didn't know anything about it. And I loved it. Now, this was a few months back that I saw Nancy pull it out. Anyway... I was at my thrift store, and I happened to cross some magazines. And I was like, well, let me just see what they have, you know, because I really am not, I don't buy a whole lot of magazines, but I look for particular ones, okay? can't remember the name of that one magazine that I, I stumbled across. There were a couple, actually, that I actually stumbled across in my thrift store a long, long, long time ago. This is one of them, a Bella Grace and the uppercase magazine. I still, you see, I still have them, huh? Because I hoard this. I do cut from it, but I hoard it. Anyway, I look for specific magazines. Ideals, this is another one. I rarely come across an ideals here in southern Louisiana. I came across this entire stack. Free gift and sign, artist papers, and clip out, clip art pages. Y'all. I'm just going to go straight to the artist pages. I, I immediately, immediately started digging through the stack. When I saw that first one, I was like, uh, <laughs> give that to me. <laughs> I couldn't get them in my little cart fast enough. And that, I mean, that that's just the artist pages. There are so, I mean, look at these. Look at these images, y'all. I, 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 I'm hesitant to tell y'all how much I paid for these. These are from 2015 and two, uh, there's a 2014, 15, and 16. Let's see what these are. Yep, 14 and 16. So 14, 15, and 16. Like, I want to go back. Yeah, I want to go back. Because I left, I left a bunch there. The reason that I left them there is because they did not have the papers and clip art pages. They had other things in them, of course, but I mean, aren't they, aren't they beautiful? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and share with you how much I paid for these. Oh my God. Look at that. 25 cents a piece. Yep. Isn't that gore? I don't do mixed media. So for me, you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna use those. Yeah. I mean they're they're absolutely they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I would never create that. I, I know I wouldn't. Yeah, and I'm just like I said, I'm just showing you the artist pages. That the book, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. How much do these how much do you buy these for? How much are they? Uh eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Okay. Nine dollars. Nine doll hairs. Oh, that, this is going to make perfect pockets and tucks. Oh, my God, y'all. Like, to me, to me, 
this was the find of like the year. I must. I. I mean, I've. I've found something. Well, I don't know that last haul that I did where I found that whole case of Betty Crocker, the whole complete set of Betty Crocker cookbook stuff uh, recipes, the plastic case and everything. That was. That was pretty darn good too. Look at these. How beautiful. Visions of vintage. I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think. I mean, yeah, I feel very, very blessed to have come across this, truly, because I will, I will give these new life. These will get new life. I do. I really, I really want to go back. Now, my friend, well, a lot of you, a lot of you crafty friends out there do this slow stitch stuff. Um, my friend Marcy, who lives in my area, who is a junk journaler, like for real a junk journaler, she does some slow stitch that is absolutely amazing. Y'all, I'm going to have, I am going to have some fun this weekend going through these. I mean, just the visual alone is just, it's just wonderful to have, you know, like when you're crying, this is what I do anyway. I'll be out here and I'll be in the thick of it, you know, or, you know, just kind of, um, at a, either at a standstill or kind of in a slump or, you know, like don't know w what to start on next. Sometimes I'll just pick up a magazine. I do. Or I'll pick up a book and I'll just start flipping through pages. And, and that will sometimes lead to, oh, well, let me harvest this image and let me do this. And let me, and that just kind of helps me to get my creative juices going, you know, that's kind of what I do. But, but these again, Oh my God, look at this inspiration. How beautiful is this? Yeah, I feel like I need, I feel like I want to go back and get more of these. I really do. Mm, mm -mm. Anyway, there's that. Now I have one more thing to show you. Willow and Sage is one of the magazines that I do look for along with the Bella Grace, Will and Sage and Bella Grace. I, they had one of these in that stack. And again, if you're, if you're familiar, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The visuals in these magazines, how much is a, oh, okay, these are $15, or this was $15 in 2016. I think they're more than that now, to be honest with you. But the visuals in this magazine they're apt it they're stunning they're stunning they're not matte now i'll just let me just say that like bella grace is matte bella grace is a matte magazine yeah willow uh, and sage they're not usually matte or i i don't think they are the ones i've seen are not oh i could use this in um Maybe not. Let me let me think about growing a beauty garden. Oh, you know what? I think I could use some of this in my um uh in that new project I'm working on. That new Edith Holden. I bet I could go through here and find some stuff, huh? Either like the font or something. Yeah. Maybe I could do that. Aromatherapy. Oh, look at this. How cute. That reminds me, I have some washi tape, too, that I got at in my last thrift haul. I got a whole thing of washi tape. I need to pull that out for that Edith Holden because I want to do that Edith Holden a little different. I have been watching... Madeline and I'm going to I'm going to tag I'm going to put her channel in here and I I kind of have been binge watching Madeline. She has some of the most stunning journals I've ever seen. 
And she has a wide range of artistic ability. And she's done boho and every everything, everything. And just is, it's amazing to me. So I've been binge watching her lately. And I've gotten some really, uh, I hope, some good ideas. Because y'all know, if y'all don't know, let me just tell you something. If you are here for an original idea, you're the wrong channel. I just am not there. I just am not. I am a big old copycat. I will tell people that over and over again. And if I copy your idea, I will give you 100% of the credit because I'm not about stealing nothing. Now, most most people are very kind in this junk journal community, and they tell me it's just inspiration. It's not stealing. Okay, well, I still consider myself a big old copycat, but I thank them for their grace. Um but yeah, I've been watching her quite a bit, and I, I have enjoyed it a lot. But for today, folks, and for, I, I want to say, I, I'm going to put this haul right on up there. Uh, I'm going to put this haul for me. This is like one of my top three for this year. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was really felt very blessed to have come across all these. But anywho... Thank you so much for hanging out with me this afternoon and for watching all this foolishness. <laughs> I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new here, thank you for coming and dropping in. If you are coming back to my channel and you guys, I I just can't, I can't put into words how thankful I am for the community we have built here and for, um, what what you do for me and how you inspire me and encourage me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I do hope that whatever it is you get to do today or in the next few days, it is at least as much fun as I'm going to have sitting down and going through each one of these. Thanks, guys, and we'll chat soon. Bye.